Hey, what's up? Today I want to be showing you something called the uh, Audio Unit Low Pass Filter in GarageBand. And if you don't know what that is, it's just something that's useful and it can help you with your editing and stuff like that. I'm going to show you how to use it with the bass with the and the acoustic guitar. You can use it with anything you want though. I'm just going to show you these two examples. So what we're going to do is go into the uh, go click on your. I'm going to click on the acoustic guitar track. Then I'm going to go to edit over here. Then I'm going to click on just a new little thing that I want to add. And I'm going to go to the audio unit effects down to low pass A U low pass. Turn it on. Now wait, I'm going to turn it off and we're going to listen to what the acoustic guitar sounds like with it off. Okay? Here it is. Okay, you get it. It's pretty basic. Now I'm going to turn it on and we're going to look at it. So this is your low pass filter. It's just it's not really complicated at all it's got this yellow dot you drag around move around and stuff it goes up goes down it goes left to right so what you're seeing is like uh, the left side is your low end frequencies and the right side is your high end frequencies where the yellow dot is is kind of like a, a pinpoint of where it's trying to uh, cut off and it wants to cut off your high end frequencies. That's the that's the thing. And see there's that little hill right there where the yellow dot is and it's going down. It's saying I want to cut off all the the high end frequencies to the right of me right here to the right. It's it's trying to say that. So so let's see. I'm going to drag it and this is an acoustic guitar track that we're talking about so it doesn't have a lot of bass in it so right here if I drag it right here around 96 let's see uh, this should sound pretty much like a lot uh, pretty much just bassy for an acoustic guitar I won't be getting all that like crisp high end that I was when we were first hearing it so I'm gonna turn it I'm gonna play it now it's checked on let's play it and you gotta kind of listen for that. See what the low fat low pass filter did was cut off all of this high end that I just took off, and that's what it does. I, now I can bring stuff up that I want, but let's listen to how that would sound. It can sound terrible. We don't want that, but I can bring it back further. But s another thing is, some people might like this kind of sound for your instrument for like an intro listen you know and then cut your low pass filter off and then and then uh, cut cut your track in half or whatever and then turn your low pass filter off and start a new track and then you've got your regular you got it coming back in so now let's let's check it out on a bass so this is how the bass sounds by itself right here. Okay. Now I'm going to turn low pass on. And this is what they give you, I think. Uh, let's play it. He's not on. I turned him on. See, he's cutting off just a little bit. But if I want to cut off a lot of high end, people might like that, you know? Cut off a lot. Now, that's a lot I've just cut off. You might want to turn up your bass after that. That's pretty low right there. That's pretty deep. It's hard to understand the bass. But you get the picture. The low pass filter is cutting off the highs. And it's it's focusing in on the lows so I hope you got something out of this video and I'll, I might make a video on the high pass filter 
it's pretty much the opposite. It cuts your lows and boosts your highs. I'm pretty sure on that. Let's let's just look at it right now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm, I'll do it on the base. So we'll click on low pass, and we'll go to is there a yeah? There's a high pass filter. Look, it's the complete opposite. So we're going to. So now my base, a base is full of lows. So this is what it gave me. I'm going to click on it. We shouldn't be able to hear that much at all. Nope. I've got to bring it back in. But I could cut him off if I wanted. That's what the high pass did. Now with the acoustic, it should be the opposite. You know, I'm talking about sound wise. Let's go to high pass. There's all different kinds of filters. No, I didn't want to hear all of that. High pass. You know that that cut off my lows. But you know, this could be a great intro, like I said. The purpose, I mean, it's great to know when you're balancing out your uh, lows and your highs. That's what this stuff is for. Your lows and your highs, your EQs, all that junk. It's good not to have, like an acoustic guitar, having too much bass, a bass, having too much treble. You, you've got to know that, you know what I'm saying, guys? You've got to have your drums with the right amount of bass, your bass with the right amount of bass your guitars with the right amount of bass I mean with not a lot of bass you everything's gotta be balanced that's what's gonna make the stuff sound good in headphones on speakers in the car everything's gotta be balanced and these are the tools that help you balance it alright well I hope you guys learned some stuff from this and you check out some there's so many other useful videos on YouTube it's not even funny but uh, thanks for watching it guys and I'll talk with you later.